Hi everyone, the conveyor belt shown in the figure is moving at 4 meters per second. The coefficient of a static friction between the conveyor and the package B is mu s is 0 0.2. What is the shortest time the belt can stop so that the package does not slide on the belt? Uh, this is a question. I guess you better first need to understand what the question asks you to do and then you apply the best strategy to find out the answer. Um, if on this conveyor, like for example, if it's moving uh, toward right, and if it suddenly stops, suddenly stops, so you know that the box will slide forward. So we want to find out the shortest time that the conveyor stops. So the box doesn't slide forward or backward. So if you, this is it, so we want to find out this is our, like this is T and this is our velocity axis. So what we want to find out, we want to find out like something like this, find out the shortest. So the, 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 the velocity, the initial velocity is like, um, 4 meter per second now and we want to find out 4 meter per second and we want to find out this time um, and you know that the the acceleration is equal to v on t the changes in velocity with respect to time gives us the acceleration uh, if I just want to draw a free body diagram of this object B, you know that this is N, this is MG, and we have a friction force pushing the box to the left. If the box is moving to the right, there is a frictional force that's pushing the box to the left. So that is F of friction. Uh, so the friction force is as for some of the forces in the x direction is equal to um, that is force of friction equal to ma uh, and is sub in here so force of friction equal to m over v um, times v over t that is v naught and we want to find out t minimum uh, if i rearrange that to get t by itself so t minimum is equal to mass times v naught times f force of friction and we know that force of friction, I'll uh, just write it here, force of friction is equal to mu s times n. This is by formula, I guess that you should know it by now. And we know that again by looking at the free body diagram, we know that n is equal to mg. So we just write it m v naught f of friction is mu s n um equal to m times v naught mu s mg and the m m's cancel out so the minimum time is equal to v naught mu s g is equal to 4 0 0.2 we know that g is 9.81 and um, the final answer would be 205.